Good morning. All right, back on site. Got a little bit of a snowfall over the weekend, but it's not not anything that's going to interrupt us. We've got a three to six inch snowfall potentially coming today. So our goal is to get this end wall finished up here. Greg is working on getting the wainscot trim up. Go ahead and get this house wrap finished around. I think Zach's working on getting that little bit of soffit finished that we were waiting on. And then our goal is to get down this wall all the way to where those two by 12 headers are. That's where our porch starts. So I'm gonna concentrate on getting this walk door, sorry, overhead door trimmed out. It's a big task. That's a lot of work to get done maybe by one or two o'clock when the snow is supposed to fall. But I think we can do it. And it'll really set us up for a successful week. What I'm working on here is this door jam. What we used to do is we would put a piece of post trim that would come out over this piece of two by two. And the reason we do this two by two is for a little bit of structure behind the trim. So what we got going is this two by two that we wrap a piece of trim around. And we used to run it back and then there would be another piece of trim that would just go underneath of it. So it was a two piece system and it was good. But what we've done is a, a one piece trim that's custom and I think it looks a lot better. So I'll show you guys how I do that. We always have this plastic put on the steel at the factory so it comes to us in good condition and all we're doing really is I'm measuring my height I'm adding an inch and a half and then I'm bending it over so when it goes in it doesn't uh, show the wood so you can see here it's a nice one-piece jam As you see there, it just bends over, and then I still got to put my 2x12 header up on this door, but I think you get the idea how this works. It just wraps around. We tack a fastener back here, usually either a little shingle nail or a screw, and then our coil stock, our flat stock, will get put on here when we do our interior, and it'll get tucked underneath this jam, and it just wraps right around. Then we'll put a piece of J-trim right here, and that's where our steel will get put in. jams on trimmed out you can see what we like to do it's way up here we cut this at an angle three and a half inches and what that does is this is inch and a half the J channel is one inch that way it goes out over it and then our steel will tuck up in here and our J will go on the top everything will be nice and clean I'll show you it as I go and then we will wrap these headers with a white liner panel to match the white liner walls. Let's see how the boys are doing. Getting her done. Greg's on the last sheet here. Then we'll head down this wall.
All right, well, we kind of reached our goal. We wanted to get down to where the porch headers start, which is right here, which that means from that point on, our porch will be there. So we didn't want to run this deal. We got to frame our porch. Not sure why my gimbal's so crooked. Come on. Huh. And we got this overhead door all trimmed out. Now you can see how that's going to look. I love this look. We got this side done. We got one row of screws that we've got to install. It's this second row. We always seem to wait for that because the scissor lift height is at an odd height and you can't do it from the scissor lift. But it's also not really done at the time of installing the bot the steel from the bottom. So we just always leave it. It's one of those things that we do when we're looking for something to do at the end of the job. I moved this window here customer changed their mind it was in this location I went ahead and moved it over here and then hopefully our liner material shows up for the inside probably need to call my insulator get this building the walls insulated we can start putting the ceiling in whenever we can't work outside per se it's kind of nice holes all marked out we just started digging I actually got one hole dug had about frost the frost went about up to here so my guess is about two two and a half foot of frost this is an old driveway too so the gravel was super packed I'm anticipating maybe these to get easier as I go down but gotta love digging with the Kubota at least it's comfortable We got the concrete truck just showed up got some calcium in there hot water we're gonna get these porch post piers poured say that ten times fast porch post piers poured it's gonna back up in here you're gonna thread the needle I'm a little worried about this guy here have him keep coming we might have to redo that one Greg uh, have him keep going straight back. He's good. He's good. Straight back. Nice. we go it's good driving you had about inches to spare
concrete done. That was easy. Now, this will be good tonight. The warmth of the concrete's fine, but we'll go ahead and we'll put something over top of these piers for the second night for sure, just to avoid any, any sort of freeze. back corners on basically everything is done back here all we got to do is put our shutters on our windows it's looking good though 